Ghana in recent years has embarked on several noteworthy mega projects covering infrastructure as well as buildings. These are testament to success of both local professionals and international companies. Welcome to today's Africa, and in today's video, we'll present to you top 10 ongoing mega projects in Ghana. And if you like informative and educative videos about Africa like this, please do make sure you subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss any of our latest video. And please like and share this video as well. Don't forget to let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And number 10 is Takoradi to Kumasi Railway Line Project. This is an ongoing project for the rehabilitation of 339 km railway line from Takoradi port in western region of Ghana to Kumasi in southern region with a branch line from Dankwa to Awaso. The project with the value of approximately 1 billion US dollars involves the renovation of a total 38 stations along with two terminals and other facilities as well as 250 bridges and coverts. State of art telecommunication and signaling will also be put in place along the reconstruction of the workshops and running sheds among other facilities. Ghana Railway Development Authority is in charge of the rehabilitation of the railway line which is key to the haulage of agricultural produce and minerals from Medu Belt to Takoradi Port. At number 9 is the Kumasi to Paga Central Railway Project. The Kumasi to Paga Railway Project, also known as Central Spine Railway Project, involves the construction of approximately 559,000 km rail line to link Kumasi in central part of the Ghana to Paga, which is in north on the border with Burkina Faso. Upon completion, the project, which is in line with railway master plan, completed in 2013 by the Ghana government, will improve rail and logistic infrastructure as part of an integrated transport network in Ghana. At number 8 is National Cathedral of Ghana in Accra. Situated on a 14-acre landscape adjacent to Osu Cemetery in Ghana, the Ghana National Cathedral project entails the construction of an interdenominational Christian cathedral that will compromise a number of chapels, baptistry, a music school, a choir rehearsal and grand central hall, as well as two-level auditorium with 5,000 seats. In addition, the new National Cathedral of Ghana will also have an art gallery, a shop, multi-use spaces and Africa's first Bible museum and documentation center. At number 7 is the Signature Luxury Apartment Project, developed by Cape May Properties, a full-service real estate company focused on delivering quality buildings at competitive prices, good rental yield for investors and excellent customer service. The Signature is a luxury apartment project that is being undertaken in the newly constructed neighborhood of Shanshe in East Legon, close to Theta Kwashe, Interchange and opposite the Accra Mall. The project involves the construction of Studio 1 and 2 and 3 bedroom apartments and a 4 bedroom penthouse with a private pool. At number 6 is Petronia City Project. Situated roughly 8 kilometers from Takoradi, Ghana's western region capital, Petronia City, is a proposed 2,000 acre city development project that aims to provide the first fully integrated business center for the oil, gas and mining industries in West African region by providing residential, office, industrial, commercial, leisure and hospitality spaces. The project was founded to solve the above mentioned infrastructure deficit in Ghana's western region following the 2008 oil discovery and associated growth in social economic activity in the region. At number 5 is Accra to Nsowam Railway Project, developed by Ghana Railway Development Authority. In conjunction with Ministry of Railway Development, Accra to Nsowam Railway Project involves the upgrade of the narrow gauge railway line that runs between the two towns, which are roughly 43 kilometers apart, into a standard gauge railway line. These works are being carried out by Keck International Limited the flagship company for RPG Group. 
India's second largest manufacturer of electric power transmission towers. And number four is the Polonia City Development Project. A Polonia City is a new 250 million US dollars city under development on a 2,325 acre piece of land located approximately 20 kilometers east of Accra between the towns of Oyibi and Efienya in Greater Accra metropolitan area. The project is quickly becoming the destination of choice for enterprises and people seeking a healthier environment outside Accra's congested city borders. At number 3 is Ghana's International Trade Fair Center. This project seeks to convert the current 140-acre Ghana International Trade Fair Center site into a new modern mix, smart, green and sustainable commercial estate. The project is set to be carried out in phases, the first of which will focus on development of convention center facilities such as luxury hotels, high-end malls and other residential and commercial development will be included in the phase two of the Ghana International Trade Fair Redevelopment Program. At number two is Accra Marine Drive Project. Accra Marine Drive Project is a 241-acre redevelopment plan for Accra's waterfront that stretches from Independence Square to the coastline, culminating a coastal overlook with broad, dramatic scenery across the Gulf of Guinea into a new public infrastructure that features commercial exhibition centers, offices, a beach soccer pitch, recreational and retail facilities. At number one is Accra Skytrain Project. Accra Skytrain Project is a planned fully automated elevated light railway metro network that is intended to serve the Accra city in Greater Accra, Ghana. The network will have five routes, four of which are radial routes that originate at a new terminal at the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange and another route that loops around the city centre. The total track length across all routes is 194 kilometers. It is reported that the Accra Skytrain Consortium will develop the system at an estimated cost of 2.6 billion US dollars. So there you have it. Top 10 ongoing mega projects in Ghana. If you like informative and educative videos about Africa like this, please do make sure you subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss any of our latest videos. And please like and share this video as well. Don't forget to let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below.